Hey guys, it's Christian Green from Nature Heals Us. And today, today I'm going to be showing you um, personal hygiene products that you could use to help with your journey. Because some of you guys are using things that contain heavy metals in them. And those are the very thing that the body is trying to get rid of so it could basically get the herpes out of your system, okay? Well, the hydrogen peroxide, that's what the hydrogen peroxide is trying to do to your system. Okay? It's getting those heavy metals out of your cells, okay? So that way your immune system could basically help you to cure yourself. Now, it makes no freaking sense. It makes no sense for you to um, detox the body, for you to bring in these same toxins through uh, hygiene products that you use on a daily basis. I'm talking about toothpaste, I'm talking about soap, shampoo, deodorant. Yes, deodorant contains aluminum. The toothpaste contains fluoride. Your soap has um, other heavy metals in them. So it makes no sense for you guys to be detoxing and then you guys are using these same personal hygiene products and bringing these same toxins back into your system. You're not going nowhere. It's you're contradicting yourself. It's like a push and pull. You're pushing these metals out of your system and then you're pulling them back in because you're using these uh, uh, specific hygiene products like Colgate and, um, and the shampoos and the deodorants. Okay? So today, in this video right here, I'm going to be showing you natural uh, hygiene products that you guys can utilize so that way you don't have to contradict your body so you won't have to feel like you're wasting time okay so that way your healing could be a hundred percent okay not partial but a hundred percent oh we got some more so I got everything here on my tape but I'm going to be showing you what you guys can use on an everyday basis so the first thing I want to go off is with the toothpaste. But if you're using Colgate toothpaste, if you're using those 99 cents toothpaste, okay, get rid of that right now, okay? Get rid of that, okay? 100% 100 of the time, these uh, Colgate toothpaste contains fluoride. 0.14% sounds small, but it does add up, especially when you're taking showers and stuff like that and uh, using, uh, using other stuff. So get rid of your toothpaste, okay? That's number one, all right? Um, what, can you use, what can you use as a, a substance for your toothpaste? Well, what I'm about to introduce to you right now is called Essential Oxygen Organic Brushing and Rinse, okay? I love this. I've been using this for about eight months, okay? Let me see if you guys can see this. So once again, it's called Organic Brush and rinse. Now, what I love about this is, is the fact that it has one of my favorite ingredients that I'm always talking about. That's hydrogen peroxide. So one of his main ingredients is food grade hydrogen peroxide, peppermint, clove, lemon, um, and rosemary. There's two more, okay? So this is what I like about um, essential oxygen. And the way that you use this is you basically put this in your mouth. You can either do two things, okay? You can rinse or you could put something in your mouth and then you could brush your teeth, okay? And what it does is it basically winds your teeth, uh, it freshens your breath, it removes bad breath germs, okay? Uh, you can find this in Whole Foods. Um, you could get this on Amazon. This is very cheap, it's very it's $10, okay? It's $10, but look, you're not putting back any toxin out, of, you're not putting any toxin back into your system that the hydrogen peroxide and you eating a raw vegan diet that's taken out of your system, okay? So you don't have to worry about putting these heavy metals into your system. This is 100% natural and organic, okay? Now another thing that you can't go wrong with, and most of you guys knows about this, is the coconut oil, okay? Many of you guys know that you could brush your teeth with coconut oil. Coconut oil is phenomenal. It has a lot of um, has antimicrobial properties. It has antifungal. It helps wind your teeth. It kills uh, bad germs. Okay, it helps prevent um, tooth decay and it, it fights cavities. So, so coconut oil is a great thing. You could even floss with it, okay? And the name of the technique is called oil pulling. Basically, you take a, take a large chunk, put it in your mouth, and you want to switch back and forth for 20 minutes. It prevents cavities, it reverses cavities. So coconut oil is really beneficial to brushing your teeth. Okay, another thing that you can also utilize if you have the 3% hydrogen peroxide, you could put a small amount of this into your mouth, enough where 
you can spit it out. And once you put some of this into your mouth, you can brush your teeth with that, okay? So you can also utilize the 3% hydrogen peroxide, which is essential oxygen. Both of these are from the same companies, okay? But you can also brush your teeth with that, all right? But this one, this one has hydrogen peroxide, but it just has more ingredients to it, all right? Okay, so we took, we, we've taken care of that. Now, the next thing I want to take care of is deodorant. Deodorant. You guys use uh, Degree. Um, most of you girls use Dove. Now, I don't know what else deodorants you guys, you girls use out there, but look, some of those deodorants are not good. They're not good for the arm. That's why some of you girls have breast cancer because you guys, you girls are using these, uh, you know, these deodorants that contains these to uh, toxins, metals in it. And then these toxic metals just migrate to your breast, and that's how many of you guys develop breast cancer. So, if you have Dove, whatever the odor that you're using, throw them in the garbage and switch to something that's natural. Something that's natural, something that will benefit you and assist with your healing. When it comes to curing herpes, you gotta bring out the guns. You gotta go 100% strong, okay? Don't hold anything back. Go 100% strong when it comes to curing this parasite out of your system, okay? Here's the alternative that I'm going to offer you guys instead of using deodorant. What you could do is, okay, now, in my last videos, I demonstrated the amber glass spray bottles. Well, I'm going to use both. I'm going to use this bottle right here, okay? It's a spray bottle. And I'm going to use this spray bottle. So what you guys could use, which is really, really convenient, is take the 3% hydrogen peroxide. Open it, take your spray bottle, and pour that shit into here. Okay, we're getting a little messy here. Alright. Okay. Close this up. Oh shit. I'll get that later. Okay, now the next thing that you could do, take this shit off. Now the next thing, take that small spray bottle and pour a little bit of that into here. Now guys, this right here is your on the go deodorant, okay? Yes, you could use hydrogen peroxide as deodorant. It, neutralize, it neutralizes the bad bacteria underneath that's causing your armpit to, uh, to smell, okay? Now, if your armpit really smells, it really means your inside is comes just dirty, okay? Because it really, if you ever smell your armpit and that shit stinks, it means that you gotta clean the inside of your colon. Like, your blood needs a purification, okay? Basically, the reason why your armpit stinks is because your inside is telling you something is wrong, something is, is, is imbalanced. Once you go on this raw vegan diet, all right, after a, a certain amount of months, you will no longer need deodorant because this right here will stop stinking, okay? All the garbage that's in your system, okay, it's causing your armpit to stink, okay? Because your inside is dirty. Since your inside is dirty, you know, all that smell is coming out through here. You could, you could smell it, okay? So, now I have two, two bottles here, okay? Now, this one right here, where I put the 3% hydrogen peroxide, this is not this is an on the go. So basically what you could do is, hold on guys. Like that. So what you could do is you could take this on the go. And what I mean by that is, you know, uh, you can leave this in your purse, you can leave this in your bag, guys. If you want to go play basketball, you know what you could do is, you know, I'm gonna demonstrate what you could do with that, okay? Because some of you guys like demonstration. Okay guys, so look, I'm gonna give you a demonstration, all right? So what you could do is take your on-the-go deodorant, okay, and spray it like that. You see that, look? Now, let me show you, let me show you so you guys can see. Okay, this, this is okay for girls and guys. You guys can use this. Look, you see that? Mm. Put some oxygen underneath that armpit, okay? I promise you, you'll go the whole day without stinking, alright? You will not smell the whole day. 
Anyways, I discovered this by accident, but it works, okay? It's natural. I do this all the time, even when I play basketball, even when I go for a run. I love this. I wish I discovered this sooner. And um, this right here, you could keep this in your house, you know? Leave this in the bathroom or, you know, when you come out, what you could do is you could spray. Now, you know, you know what? Speaking of spray, okay, guys? Another thing you guys could do. Now, li listen carefully, guys. Listen carefully. Another thing you could do when you come out the shower, okay, when you come out the shower, take the 3% hydrogen peroxide, okay, and spray your body with that, okay? Spray your, spray your skin, okay? And you can even spray your face too. Spray your neck, spray your chest, shake cold. Cool. Okay, you gotta spray your legs, spray your butt. So basically, it's like doing a, it's like it's like doing a detox bath, okay? So you're coming out, you're spraying oxygen into your skin, and that oxygen is going into your skin, and it's doing the healing that it needs to do to get that freaking herpes out of your system, okay? Um, I didn't mean to get sidetracked by the deodorant, but this is another thing that I wanted to offer. So remember, guys, when you come out the shower, take that three percent and spray your body down with that, okay? This is 3%, this is this is not 35, this is 3% full grade. Okay, you can spray your neck, spray your chest. Okay, you could use this as a deodorant, you're good, okay? Deodorant, we're good. You can use this to brush your teeth. I don't like the taste of it. Okay, and you could spray this on your face, okay, to help, ah, to help, it helps your face out, basically. And if your hands is ashy too, you could spray this on your, um, you know, especially black people, you know, if you're ashy in the middle, you know, we get ashy quick, you know. You go spray this and your ashy disappear too. I do a lot with this, man. Another thing you can do with this too, you know, you go to those public bathrooms, spray those toilet seats, kill, kill any bacteria on those public seats, you know. After shaking someone's hand, spray that. So speaking of shaking people's hand, yes, you can catch herpes through the hands too. And that's another video that I'll do later on. Now right, let me put it back my shirt. Okay, so we just went over toothpaste and deodorant. Now the next thing that we're about to go over is soap. Okay, so if you're using uh, if you're using Dove soap, if you're using Irish um, Irish soap, get rid of that. Okay, get rid of that stuff and switch to something that's natural, 100% natural. Mm. Now, one of, the, one of the soap that I recommend, I highly recommend is black soap, okay? You guys can't go wrong with black soap, and you know you can't go wrong with black soap, okay? This right here is organic. Make sure your black soap is organic. Use black soap to shower. If you can't get black soap, uh, there's soap on Amazon that you could use. Um, you could use oregano oil soap. You could use olive leaf extract soap. They even have colloidal silver soap, okay? You want to use that to help accelerate the process. Look, you're going, you're trying to get rid of herpes. Go 100% strong. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Bring out the AK-47. Okay? Bring that out. So, black soap, okay? So, organic black soap. Now, for lotion, which you can use for lotion, ladies and gentlemen. You can use coconut oil for lotion, okay? Or you can use shea butter. Mine's organic. I got mine's on Amazon. I use this all the time. Okay, it's the real deal, okay? So these are the things that you could uh, basically use on a daily basis, okay? So you got the 3% hydrogen peroxide, the essential organic brushing, the coconut oil, you could use the um, hydrogen peroxide as deodorant, and then you have the soap as well, okay? And another thing I would like to make mention of, this is the last thing, okay? I would like to also make mention, Okay hey guys, so the forks, the forks, the forks and the spoon. I'm gonna make another video about that on my next video, okay? You should not be using forks and spoons, okay? Uh, forks and spoons contain aluminum, um, they contain lead and they contain other, they contain other toxins, metals. And um, we don't want that in our body. We don't want these heavy metals in our system because these heavy metals causes diseases and sickness okay so some of these metals and spoons some of these forks and forks and spoon that you buy are uh, majority of them are from China or you know some of them are made here but the thing is is that when you're eating a 
right? Some of the lead or the aluminum sneaks into the food and goes into your system. Okay? And this this right here does not does not work. Cut this cut this out. And um like I said, you know, I'm not gonna go into too much details about these, but I don't use these no more. But I'm only showing you this because uh, uh, my siblings use this. Well, they still brainwash. I'm not brainwashed. I'm my third eye open. Everything open for me. Me, when I eat, when I eat fruits and vegetables. I eat with a wooden bowl. This is made out of coconut. I eat with a wooden spoon. Okay, all my stuff is wooden. I'm 100% natural. The wooden spoon. One and boy, this is my coconut bowl. Okay. I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys take this into consideration. When you're going all out, go all out. Don't hold back. Okay. You're you're exposed to so much garbage around you. You're putting garbage back into your body. The very same garbage that your hydrogen peroxide and the raw vegan diet is trying to get out of your system. Okay. So take that into consideration when it comes to your healing. Stop putting garbage into your system. Look at your product ingredient when you when you buying soap out there look at the ingredients analyze it see where it comes from if we don't understand a, a freaking ingredient research it if you don't if you can't read if you can't even pronounce the ingredient don't buy it because <laughs> it's not natural if it got if it got all these red five red six in it don't buy it buy something that's 100 percent pure and natural for your healing okay you have a real body keep it real with the body Okay, you're you're trying to cure yourself and you're trying to be real with it. So be real, but but be real with the stuff that you put into it. Okay, so get rid of that deodorant. Get rid of the aluminum. I mean, get rid of the the degree, the, the dove. Get rid of all that crap. The